hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is vicky and you're welcome to vicky scott so in today's video today is palm sunday and in today's video i'm going to be you guys are going to be cooking with me so i'm going to be making so i just want to show you guys how i make them yeah nothing serious and nothing to you know worry about so it's just something simple and yeah you guys are just going to watch me mm -hmm. Make them so. This could be good for me. So you can see me properly now here. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please go and subscribe to my channel, like my video, and share my video with your friends. So you know, I don't know what I'm going to start cooking first. But let me show you guys. Why are you running? So I just brought the chicken out of the freezer now, and the fish. And as you can see, this is somebody right here. It's feeding the yam for pounding. So happy Palm Sunday! 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 Happy do have strength. It's that time to make a man pay. So, because do have strength, I'm going to grow the fish. Yeah. Maybe that when they have plant, one has to be the ocean. They have to be like, oh. <laughs> hey now, there's no water in here. Please, can we just drink water? I don't have strength. I'm going to use it. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, I'm going to use it to jail. <laughs> The fish, yeah. I'm going to be using this to grill the fish. Mm. We're using the fish to make the stew, and then we're using the chicken to make the ebusi soup. You've seen that small one, Paka. Remember that? That's not small that's in nonsense. So, hopefully, I'm able to cut this chicken very well because it's big and just strikes me. Like, see the size. It's that big. Yeah, I'm just trying to divide it into two. So, the way it can go to. I'm really looking at it. In front of the whole. I'm waiting for this thing not to cut my nails in because like my nails are long, so I know my hand is slow. Now take that big slaughter. Eh? So I'll go slaughter my nails, thank you. I'm, I'm fine with this one, I'm afraid that I'm going to put my I can't control that giant knife. Giant cutlass. I'm done cutting the skin. I'm just going to wash it and make it on fire. If it's long to the hair, what is long to the hair? It's long to the hair. So what would you do? I'm putting that by coming out here, what you want. What is that? Stop watching camera. Okay, so we have a good one. I 
Okay, so I'm just going to add my onions, pepper, just to season the chicken. So I just added the pepper, I'll add my seasoning cube. So as you can see, I'm already grilling my fish and my chicken is already steamed here. So I'm grilling my fish because I'm allergic to boiled fish. So the only way I can eat fish if it is if it is roasted or fried. So I'm just grilling my fish. So I'm just raising my pounded yam machine. This is where the pounded yam is going into. I am a still on fire. I'm just going to add enough yam. So just add this. So see how it came up. Mm -hmm. One set of pounded yam is ready. So right now this is my favorite kitchen appliance because I love pounded yam and it just makes the work so much easy to get. Like you don't have to think of how am I going to pound this yam? Like just make it work easy. So so I put the pot a little bit, but it's okay. You can see my red oil already. I'm just putting my egusi. Yeah. So I soaked my egusi with in water. I can decide to pour it in without soaking, but I wanted to soak it so it can be more like egg. Yeah. So. So. so you can see. It's already burning. I'll just stir. Keep stirring. Okay, so I've been stirring it off camera for some minutes now. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see it very well. It's already forming like egg. Yeah. It's already forming like egg. But I'm still not yet satisfied. I like my egusi too. I don't want to be perceiving any egusi smell when I'm eating my food. So I'll still keep burning for some seconds still. So just because I like the aroma onions give to egusi, I like the flavor onions give to egusi, I'm just going to add a little, just a little onion right and as you can see on the other pot on the other fire i added my stock fish to my already steamed chicken and I'm, i've allowed it boil for some time i'm just going to turn it off yeah just because i feel like it's soft enough i don't like my stock fish very very soft Guys, I wish you can perceive it. And the my deep so it is so nice. So I'm just going to transfer my I'm just going to transfer my chicken, my fish and everything to Yes. 
My stew already added my granatoy, I fried my tomatoes. In fact, let me just show you. It's very clearly because of the smoke. But I've already added everything. So now I'm just going to add my spices. So this spice is actually made by my mom. It's locally made by my mom and I love it. I swear, like it's the aroma is so nice. It's just mixed spices for jollof rice and stew. So I'm just going to add just a little. Yeah, so when I had already added my ginger and garlic spice, so I've, I've not added anything apart from the tomatoes and spice, so I'm just going to add my fish right now. And then when I'm done, I'm going to show you guys how it looks. Okay, so after all said and done, this is how my stew looks here. Yeah. It doesn't just look nice, it's also very, very delicious, I promise you. So this is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching my video. This is Vicky signing out. Please subscribe and bye.